Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. everyone how's it going Alex here thanks for joining me today welcome to my YouTube channel this video right here is part of a three-part series introducing myself Alex to YouTube uh, this first video um, the one that you're watching right now is gonna be about my van right here um, there's gonna be two other videos um, one's gonna go a little more in depth about what I do and how I live the van life and then the third one is going to be an adventure um, taking the van out and creating um, photos with you guys. So stick along and I hope you enjoy. So first up on the van tour is the foyer. And more importantly with the foyer, the rug. The rug is like crucial. It essentially doubles your square footage. Not necessarily there's more square footage in the van, but having a little extra defined space outside really helps. Now that we've kind of introduced the foyer, let's head into the van and look at all the cool little details. So we got the kitchen right here. Uh, when I first got the van, oof, the kitchen was rough. But we've done some upgrades. So I got a fixed cooktop now uh, with propane. Um, it's ran underneath the cabinet. And I upgraded to an actual faucet with a water pump. And it's not the biggest water tank, but I have a 10 gallon water tank. And let me show you that. So right here is the water tank fill. Uh, I put a little spout on it. Nothing crazy. You're gonna find out with this whole van that it's really like DIY. I built the whole thing myself. Love the whole process. I modify it, tune it to exactly how I need to. But yeah, just some PVC and a 10 gallon water tank. I got it mounted inside and it works out perfect. And next up, we're gonna talk about the internals of these cabinets right here. So this is still part of the kitchen. Uh, so in this top cabinet right here, and I have like these twist locks on all the cabinet doors. They work great for keeping everything secure. And especially when you're driving, everything's not blowing around and like falling out. So in this first top cabinet, I keep my propane in here. Got some pots and pans. And I got some food storage like the mason jars. All right, guys. Let's talk about the fridge. So as you can see, we got it right down here. Nothing crazy, just a 20 liter. You know, keep your, your, your fresh fruit, your veggies, any kind of food you need in there. Uh, the cool thing about this is that it can be a freezer or a fridge. So whatever you want, just adjust the temperature and it works great. And I got that on slides. I built a custom drawer. Um, the power cable um, slides in and out with it. And bam, just like that, hides away. Same with these little twist latches, just like so. And kind of all tucked away nicely. So for the last part of the kitchen is like the pots and pans and dishes. Let me grab that for you guys. So I keep it up top and I have it all in this nice little bin right here. Uh, I just did laundry yesterday, so I have a ton of fresh clean rags and it kind of helps from the, uh, the noise rattling around because especially on the dirt roads, it gets a little annoying. But inside of here, yeah, I mean, it's like your standard little kind of like put together kitchen. So two bowls, two plates, got my knives, got your cookware, your normal utensils. I got pint glasses for the occasional beer. Uh, and then yeah, small little cutting board right here. And then to kind of muffle all the noise, you just take all, all your dish rags and everything right there and you stuff them. And I keep them nice in this little bin. 
Shout out to Target, always hooking you up with these nice little quality bits. And it slides up perfectly right there and out of the way. I'll show you guys right there, right there. And then, always trying to get savvy and kind of figuring out how to stop things from moving around. So my dad made these cool little coasters, um, got them for me for Christmas and I take it and it fits perfectly right there. So now it doesn't move anywhere and it's all friction fitted in and you're good to go. Right here, we have my bed. It is the size full. Thankfully, I did not have to cut it that much. Just the corners in the back two, kind of where like the van is contoured. Uh, and I sleep at a diagonal. Uh, I really wanted to sleep horizontal, and I probably could, but at 6'1", I'm really pushing the limits, but I didn't want to run uh, the uh, lengthwise of the van to, to take up too much space. So I sleep at an angle, uh, and it works out really, really well. Um, I'm always comfortable. I can stretch out um, all the way. All right, guys. Kind of a tight little area back here, but I got the microphone flipped around so you can hear me a little bit better. And let's talk about like this whole overhead bin storage area. So over here on the left, we got um, the library, got some books. I have a few more floating around, but this is where I keep the majority of them. Uh, in this empty white spot right here, I normally keep my camera bag, got more camera gear right here. And then way over here is just more camera technology thing. Uh, the closet is one of my favorite things right here. I have these two sliding latches on it. Big door opens up. And I have four drawers. We got socks, underwear, shirts, pants, and I all have them on these drawers. Glides, really works out well. And then on the left-hand side right here, I keep all the jackets. All right, guys, so we're gonna start on the driver's side of the van. Like I said, there is a lot going on, so let's treat this like a book. Let's go left to right and top to bottom. So starting up here, got a line sole bin, uh, keep Expo markers in here for the whiteboard that goes up here. Uh, it's really nice, kind of mark some notes down, kind of keep your days organized. I uh, got some little accessories hanging right here and then some little cubby storage bins for when you're sleeping, kind of keep your bottle there. Uh, for water, uh, you got some USB outlets for charging your phone, just kind of things you'd want on a nightstand. Uh, so going on from there, we have the first storage bin. I keep some headphones here because I like to listen to music. So at nighttime, you just pop them on right in your bed, listen to an album, and you're good to go. Um, some extra storage for water bottles. And then we have some books. So I got um, the climbing books. I um, got the bouldering and rock or rope climbing guide for Red Rocks because we're out here in Las Vegas. Uh, then we got the Joshua Tree and cl Crack climbing book as well and some maps. Moving on, some extra camera gear again active reading so like right now i got an ansel adams photography book oh what is this one into thin air i haven't read that one yet haven't been cracked it open yet not gonna lie to you guys i picked it up super excited to read it um but yeah just active readings at the moment this third storage bin uh up here i have a bluetooth speaker um and because these are just kind of like mesh bins i don't have to move the speaker ever and look at this this is actually pretty cool so over here I have a little charging cable um, and it's plugged into the Bluetooth speaker. So all I have to do is just plug in a USB port. Um, it's plugged into the speaker. So I never have to like pull the speaker out and like charge it. It can always be discharged while it's going on. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Perfect. So moving on to this middle section right here, this is just kind of like your um, bathroom kit. So I got everything you need just to keep yourself maintained, keep yourself cleaned and organized as much as you can in a van. Uh, on the note of keeping yourself clean and organized in a van, I do not have a shower, but I have lots of options and places to shower. So like keeping yourself clean and good to go. Not too much of an issue for myself. As for a bathroom, we'll show you that at the end of the video. Um, good solution, kind of hit a healthy middle ground. Moving on, we have this lower section right here and I kind of like this section. Uh, we'll show you this little fun area in one moment, but in this bin, I keep all your drinks. Then over here, before I put this bin back, I have um, film. Um, got medium format film, 120 right here. I got some 35 millimeter film. And then, even for the Polaroids, got them right here. So, we'll talk about my photography uh, passions in a little bit. Uh, but for now, yeah, this is where I kind of keep my inventory. So I just grab a roll, shoot it, and you're good to go. Mail it off. My favorite item of the van. I put a turntable in my van. 
I wanted to bring one of my favorite things along on the road with me to kind of make it more personable, enjoyable, and just livable. And for me, that's a turntable. You put an album on, you just kind of connect with the music, um, kind of build this nice little storage spot for it. it tucks away nicely. It doesn't take up any space and it cleanly hides away uh, and you're good to go. Okay, so turntables up here. Got some latches again. You guys are familiar with those by now. Uh, and this is another storage area. So let's talk about this top section right here. This is kind of a standard thing you see on vans nowadays. You know, you have a tech drawer with some chargers and I have wires running to it. So got a big hub to charge batteries, rechargeable batteries, headlamps for running around the canyons and climbing, bike lamps for biking, um, extra cables, basically everything you need to kind of keep your um, items charged. And then this. Let's pull this out and let's show you this guy. And finally, one of the last little cabinets on the side of the van. Uh, we kind of went through the whole section now and this right here, ooh, my head's got up. This right here is the battery bank. Goal Zero, Yeti 1000. There's a lot of solutions for vans. Um, I see a lot of ways to approach it. Um, this for me was super straightforward. Um, I just upgraded my panel over the summertime. Initially I had two 100 watt panels, but one kind of crapped out. So I found a local distributor here in Vegas and I want to say it was 300 or 320 watt panel. Um, but now it's just one big panel. Um, yeah, so that plugs in right here. Have the DC output right here, uh, some USB ports and then AC right here, inverter. So basically I have everything you need. Uh, powers the fridge, powers the lights, powers the fan, charges my laptop, camera batteries, everything. This middle section right here, right behind the driver's seat. Um, this is kind of like, I don't know, I, I'm still trying to like figure out like what I want to call it, but like it's where like you set your backpack, your camera gear. I have my notebooks out to plan out your days and to document things. Underneath here, I just picked up a diesel heater. Um, I'm still I'm still working out the kinks. Um, I'm dealing with a voltage issue and I'll have it fixed this week, but it's getting a little colder out here, so I'm glad I picked that up. Okay guys, we, we move forward now. So now I'm all the way in the driver's seat. Obviously, this is where you sit when you drive. Um, but yeah, it's kind of part of the van um, as for like the living space because underneath here, I have a swivel seat that I never use. Um, this was gonna be a desk behind me, but it just didn't work out the way I wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna put the swivel seat on the passenger seat uh, when I head home for Christmas. Uh, so I'm gonna get that all situated and hopefully utilize this swivel seat a lot more. Real quick guys, let's, um, let's talk about this stuff right here. And this is gonna kind of tie into the three part introductory videos to my YouTube channel. So let's talk about that. It's a little bright out. Um, it's past morning now. It's kind of still morning time. Anywho, we're back outside. So I want to pause from the van for a second. I don't want to detract. This is a van tour video. I, I don't want to take too much of your guys' time away. But real quick, I said this is part of a three part introductory YouTube um, series. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And here's why. The first video is a van tour. Second video is going to be about this stuff right here. And this, is kind of like who I am, what I'm doing, and I wanna talk about this for one brief second in this van tour video so you can have a little bit better of context of what's going on. So up here, I have my book. This is my first ever book I, I self-published. Um, I just finished this book after a year of work. So click the link in the description below and you're gonna be linked to not only to be able to buy this book, but the second part of this introductory YouTube series where we're gonna go in depth about this kind of stuff right here. I have calendars and I also have stickers. Um, I've been working very hard. I traveled last year, all year. Uh, I took photos of the American West and documented it and that is what the book is about. So I'm super proud to kind of talk about it and to show you guys it. But yeah, just thought I'd kind of give you guys a little brief introduction of why I'm doing the van stuff and what I'm producing while I'm on the road. So yeah, let's take a look at it real quick. Okay guys, so we have Adventure Registry, Volume 1, Discovering the Dream. This is my first book, like I said. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick little tour and then we'll get right back to the van thing. So it is 106 pages, eight by 10, hardcover, image wrapped, good to go. 
um, and I'll give you kind of a quick little quick little overview 106 pages full color um, yeah designed it myself photographed it myself wrote the story and I would love for you guys to take a look at it and yeah I'm just really really excited to be sharing this with you guys okay guys we're gonna get back to the van tour now thank you for letting me kind of talk to you guys about my current uh, project like I said if you really want to know more information click at the link in the description for part two of this video series and I will give you a great story about how everything came to fruition with the book and why I'm doing what I'm doing so thank you guys uh, since we're outside uh, let's Let's take a look at the garage. So right here, the back doors, and let's talk about this. We got some dents, got some this, got some that. It's a big van, stuff happens. And we're gonna talk about, about why these doors are unfinished too. All in a different video. Um, but that's gonna be kind of be like, just like the nitty gritty dirty stuff of van life. But now we're back here in the garage and you can kind of see the bed. We got that on the top platform like we talked about before. And the garage kind of extends up into the top section. I modified it, I uh, got the backpack hanging up there. But let's give you kind of like a walkthrough of all the gear and the storage. All right, guys. So, kind of got the microphone flipped around again. I think this is gonna be the best way to kind of give you a tour of what's all going on in the back of the van. So, to the right over here, we got like the climbing section. And to the left, we got the biking section. Uh, got like the climbing rope, bouldering pads, uh, gym bag, outdoor bag, harness, trad gear. Uh, and then over here we have my road bike. Now, initially I was a mountain biker, but right now I'm just trying to get some miles in. So we got this beautiful vintage road bike right here. Other things in the garage, you know, this is a garage. You're supposed to kind of keep all the tools, um, just like a normal house. So extra water, extra gas. Down here, if you really kind of see dirty, I uh, got the Milwaukee tool bag and kind of keep the van tip top um, in case anything needs to be repaired. Uh, extra storage right there for just miscellaneous items. And then some mountain biking accessories up top right there. Okay guys, I promise I wouldn't, wouldn't leave out this last little detail. This is the happy in-between for the bathroom situation. Got some wet naps, some toilet paper, and a five-gallon bucket with a seat. Uh, inside of here, got some great little baggies. And it's a two-part baggie system, so everything's really nice and contained. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this first part of the three-part series for my welcome to YouTube. This is my van. I'm so excited that I was able to kind of show you some details, give you a tour of it, kind of talk about who I am and what I'm doing, um, but make sure to be on the lookout for part two. Like I said, that's gonna be in the description. That's gonna be talking about my book and kind of how the whole story came to fruition. And then part three, that is going to be when I head out, do some adventures, and kind of show you what more of the kind, the kind of the style of YouTube videos I'm going to be making. But overall, guys, thank you so much, and until next time, have fun. Woo!